internationalinternetseminary.com. Introduction to the Bible, Part 3 Bible History Survey Major Events in the Bible Creation, Genesis 1-2 Establishes God as the Eternal Creator the creation eliminates the possibility of atheism and naturalism. The origin of nature and man are explained. The Fall, Genesis 3 Original sin, expulsion from Eden, and curse of the earth. The Flood of Noah, Genesis 6-9 God's judgment by flood, restart of the human race and earth's atmosphere. Confusion at Babel, Genesis 11 Division of languages and dispersion of humans. Call of Abraham, Genesis 12 to 15. Abraham is called out from the Chaldees to blessings in the land of Canaan. Start of the nation of Israel. Abrahamic covenant is given to Israel. Israel in Egypt, Genesis 37 to 50. Israel goes into bondage in Egypt. Seventy Israelites grow to two million over 430 years. Exodus from Egypt, Exodus 1-15 Redemption from Egypt by the leadership of Moses God's punishment on Egypt and parting of the Red Sea God's laws given to Israel, Exodus 19-27 to Leviticus 27. Ten commandments and laws were given to Israel Israel in the wilderness, Numbers 10-36 Forty years in the wilderness Israel's conquest of Canaan, Joshua 1-12 Joshua leads Israel to victory in the land of Canaan. Judges rule over Israel. Judges 1 to Ruth 4. After the death of Joshua, Israel falls into the time of the judges. King Saul, 1 Samuel 8.31 Israel desires a king as the other nations. Saul fails as a king through consulting a witch. King David, 1 Samuel 16 to 1 Kings 2 David is raised from being a shepherd to replace Saul as the king of Israel. David unifies Israel, expands the kingdom, and defeats the enemies. David foreshadows the future Messiah. King Solomon, 1 Kings 1-11 Son of David, endowed with wisdom and wealth, builds the temple of God but later falls into apostasy through many wives and concubines. Assyrian Captivity, 2 Kings 18 after the death of Solomon, Israel is divided into Israel and Judah. Many prophets are sent to Israel, but they are ignored. Babylonian Captivity, Jeremiah 1-39 to and Ezekiel From King Rehoboam to Babylonian Captivity in 586 BC Restoration, Ezra, Nehemiah, Haggai, Zechariah, Malachi Cyrus frees Israel and they return from Babylon to Jerusalem. This was as prophesied by Jeremiah and Daniel. The first return was under Zerubbabel, second under Ezra, and third under Nehemiah. Temple, worship, Sabbaths, and feasts are reinstated. Intertestamental period, 430 BC to 30 AD. From Malachi to Jesus' ministry, there is a 400 years of silence. Persia comes into power, then Alexander the Great builds the Grecian Empire. Life of Jesus Christ, Matthew to John. The Son of God is born of a virgin, having deity in humanity. Early Judean Ministry Jesus is anointed with the Spirit through John the Baptist. Jesus calls his disciples, cleanses the temple, challenges Nicodemus, then departs to Galilee. Galilean Ministry He is rejected in Nazareth despite numerous miracles. Jesus gives the Sermon on the Mount and teaches the parable to the Twelve. Jesus feeds the 5,000 and performs many miracles. Ministry leads to Phoenicia and Decapolis, then he returns to Jerusalem for the feast. Final year in ministry. Jesus announces his death and transfiguration takes place. He departs Galilee, then travels toward Judea through Samaria. The 70 are sent forth to minister. 
Jesus returns to Bethany where he raises Lazarus from the dead. He spends the final months in Jericho to instruct the disciples, then returns to Bethany. The Passion Week Jesus arrives to Bethany and has dinner at Simon the leper's home. He is declared as the Messiah at the triumphal entry. Returns to Jerusalem and cleanses the temple, and then the Olivet Discourse is given. At the Passover, Jesus washes the disciples' feet. The Lord's Supper is instituted, then Jesus goes to Gethsemane to pray. Death Jesus is betrayed by Judas and he stands trial in court before Roman and Jewish rulers. Jesus is condemned, tortured, and crucified on the cross. Jesus dies and is buried in a tomb. Resurrection Jesus resurrects from the dead as his body is not found by the woman, Peter, and John. He appears to Emmaus' disciples at the room of gathering to the 500 brethren to the disciples in Galilee, then ascends to heaven. Church at Pentecost, Acts 2 Following the ascension, the church gathers on the day of Pentecost. The Holy Spirit is poured on the 120 believers. Missions to Gentiles, Acts 9-28 to Pauline Epistles The outreach to Gentiles begins with the conversion of Paul. Paul is converted by the appearance of Jesus Christ. Paul is called to be an apostle to the Gentiles. Peter is the leader of Jewish church in Jerusalem and the apostle to the Jews. God reveals the plan for Gentiles to Peter through visions. Antioch Church becomes the base church for Gentiles. Barnabas helps Paul and disciples are first called Christians in Antioch. Paul's first missionary journey is to southern Asia Minor. The council at Jerusalem is held to assert that Gentile Christians must keep the customs of Moses. Paul and Peter discuss the salvation plan for Gentiles and conclude that both Jews and Gentiles are saved through the grace of Jesus Christ. Paul's second missionary journey with John Mark. They return to Asia Minor, then travel to Macedonia and Greece. Paul's third missionary journey to Ephesus, Macedonia and Greece. Paul's journey to Rome, where he appeals to Caesar. Paul's travels end in Rome, where he is later martyred. Second Advent of Jesus Christ General Epistles to Revelation Jesus will return as He promised to the disciples. He will return as the Bridegroom to redeem the church as His bride. God will punish the world through the Great Tribulation. Jesus will return and there will be a thousand years of peace. God will create new heaven and new earth with new Jerusalem in eternity. Major Characters in the Bible Adam Adam means ground or earthly one. He was the original human being that God created and the ancestor of the human race. He was made in the image of God without sin in innocence. But through the deceitfulness of Satan, Adam and Eve fell into sin and ever since then, sin and death came into the world. Noah Noah means to rest. He and his family survived the global flood in the ark. He was found righteous in his time and God entered into the first covenant with him. Noah is the father of three main racial groups, Asian, Caucasian, and Negroid. Abraham Abraham meant exalted father, but God changed his name to Abraham meaning father of many nations. He was called out of Ur of the Chaldees to the promised land of Canaan to become the father of Israelites. Jacob Jacob was given the name Israel after he wrestled with an angel at Peniel. He tended to be deceitful and crafty, but God had mercy on him. Jacob was the father of the twelve tribes of Israel. Joseph Joseph was the eleventh and favorite son of Jacob. He was sold to Egypt where he became prosperous. He was elevated to be the second ruler under Pharaoh through prophesying the famine. Israel eventually migrated into Egypt to be with Joseph during the famine. Joseph is a type of Jesus Christ in the Old Testament. Moses Moses was raised in Egypt to become a leader of his people. He led the Israelites out of bondage of Egypt through God's supernatural plagues. The plagues are type of great tribulation. 
Moses was a deliverer of Israel, a prophet and a lawgiver to Israel, a mediator between God and Israel, and the author of the Pentateuch. Joshua Joshua means Jehovah saves in Hebrew. He is another type of Jesus Christ in the Old Testament. In the Greek New Testament, his name is translated as Jesus. Joshua was one of the spies to report about Canaan. Only he and Caleb trusted that God would give them the promised land of Canaan. After the 40 years, Moses commissioned Joshua as the successor and Joshua led Israel across Jordan into the land of Canaan. Joshua and Israel conquered the Canaanites to take the promised land and Joshua died at the ripe age of 110. Samuel Samuel was the last of the judges and first of the prophets. He was born to Hannah who dedicated him to be a Nazarite to serve God at the tabernacle. He was called to be a prophet and also acted as a judge. He anointed Saul as king but later disqualified him and then anointed David as the king of Israel. King Saul He was tall and handsome but he was also a coward who allowed young David to fight Goliath. Saul was fearful and faithless whereas David was fearless and faithful. Saul was the first king of Israel but was removed due to consulting a witch. King David David replaced Saul as the king of Israel. He was a brave man who wrote many hymns written in the Psalms. He fell many times but God had grace on him throughout his life. His life is expressed in his Psalms as he expresses his feelings to poetry. He is a type of Jesus Christ reigning as the king in the millennial kingdom. King Solomon Solomon was the son of David who inherited the throne. He was a man of wisdom but also lived in carnal pleasures. He authored the Proverbs, Ecclesiastes, and the Song of Solomon. Elijah Elijah means Jehovah is God. He lived in the 9th century BC during the reign of Ahab. God raised up Elijah to call Israel to serve God or be punished. He was seen as a troublesome person as he often opposed Ahab and Jezebel. Although Elijah fled from Jezebel, he lived the life of a zealous prophet condemning Ahab as well as Ahaziah. He performed many miracles. He prophesied of drought and relief. He was fed by the ravens, raised a child from the dead, defeated the prophets of Baal, and he went to heaven in a whirlwind. Elijah was a prefigure of John the Baptist. Isaiah his name means Jehovah is salvation. Isaiah lived during the 8th century BC and prophesied to Israel in the book of Isaiah. Isaiah is known to have written the book of Isaiah around 740 to 686 BC. He spoke to Israel about the Babylonian captivity and the restoration of Israel by Cyrus the Great. His kingdom prophecies are regarding the future kingdom. Jeremiah his name means Exalted of Jehovah. Jeremiah is the known author of the Book of Jeremiah, Book of Lamentations, and also the Book of Kings. He was called to ministry around 626 BC to speak to Israel about their destruction. He is often called the Weeping Prophet as he lamented of the idolatries of Israel and the future punishment. Ezekiel Ezekiel means God strengthens. He is the author of the book of Ezekiel. He lived during the 6th century BC speaking about the destruction of Israel, the future restoration of Israel, and visions of the millennial temple. Daniel His name means God is my judge. He lived during the Babylonian captivity writing the book of Daniel between 605 BC to 533 BC. Some objectors assert that his book was written around 166 BC to deny the prophecies. He was captured into Babylonian captivity but rose to preeminence through prophecies. He prophesied of four world kingdoms and about the end time events. His prophecies include the details of the Great Tribulation. John the Baptist he was born six months before Jesus Christ into the priestly family of Zacharias. 
he lived in the wilderness of Judea prior to his public ministry. He was a relative of Jesus Christ and likely childhood friends as Mary and Elizabeth were close relatives. His ministry called Israel to repentance and preparation for the Messiah. He also warned Israel of God's wrath and judgment. He prepared the way for Jesus Christ, preaching the baptism of repentance. He baptized Jesus Christ to begin Jesus' ministry. Jesus Christ Jesus Christ was God who came into the world as a human being. He existed in eternity prior to the creation. He will exist in New Jerusalem as the Lamb of God. Jesus Christ was impeccably human. He was born as a man, he was thirsty, he ate food, and he slept. He was also tempted, but he never sinned as he was sinless. He was the last Adam that was born as a perfect human. He was fully human in all his physical characteristics. Jesus Christ was fully God. He was God in nature and attributes, having the names of God. He was the Word, and the Word was God. He was called My Lord and My God by Thomas, and Paul stated that in Jesus Christ, the fullness of the deity lives in a bodily form. He was called Emmanuel, meaning God with us, and he declared that he was the Son of God who is equal with God. He received worship from men as God who came into the world. Peter Peter was from Bethsaida and a fisherman with his brother Andrew and James and John, the sons of Zebedee. His original name was Simon, but Jesus gave him the name Peter. He eventually became the leader of the twelve apostles. The resurrected Jesus Christ told Peter to feed the sheep. He was the leader of the church at Pentecost where the Holy Spirit was poured out. He performed many miracles and escaped imprisonment with the help of an angel. God revealed to him the acceptance of Gentiles into the church and he announced God's acceptance of Gentiles at the Council of Jerusalem. He was rebuked by Paul for being biased to Gentiles, but Peter accepted Paul's writings as scriptures. Peter is the author of 1st and 2nd Peter. According to tradition, Peter was murdered at Rome by upside-down crucifixion. John John was the son of Zebedee and a fisherman. He was a humble man beloved of Jesus Christ. He ranked as one of the leaders of the church with Peter and James, having to witness Christ at the transfiguration with them. Peter and John remained close friends as they went to the empty tomb together and were influential in the early church of Jerusalem. At old age, John was exiled to the island of Patmos where he wrote the book of Revelation. Paul Paul was a native of Tarsus in Cilicia. He was raised as a Pharisee from childhood, learning the traditions of Judaism from Gamaliel. He was also a Roman citizen. He was zealous of Jewish traditions and devoted to Judaism. Until his conversion, he persecuted Christians, participating in Stephen's murderdom. But on the road to Damascus, Jesus Christ appeared to him where he called Jesus Lord. Antioch Church became Paul's base church from where he went on all his three missionary trips. He is the writer of the Pauline Epistles. International Internet Seminary gives university-level seminary education for free. Seminary materials are explained in simple and understandable manner. We provide videos of all our programs to help you easily learn the Bible. Seminary education has never been so fun, easy, and free. International Internet Seminary.com Thank you for watching our videos. I pray that this video has helped you with your daily walk with the Lord. I am Paul Min, the president and founder of International Internet Seminary. I write the textbooks, record them for the audio, and produce all the videos. Um, excuse the lighting by the way. I am uncomfortable showing my face in public because I'm a social outcast and I'm extremely ugly. And excuse me if I sound like I mumble and my nose is blocked. I have sinus problems and I'm on a lot of antipsychotic medications that make me mumble. I'll try to open my mouth more. 
The reason why I'm on antipsychotic medications is because I have severe schizophrenia and depression. I have bad auditory and visual hallucinations and severe depression that make me secluded from the rest of the world. The depression began when I first started Bible college in Florida. I learned church history for the first time and found that New Testament church history was almost exclusively the history of Western civilization. Asia and Africa seemed to have been secluded from the gospel in church history. I felt as if God did not evangelize Asia and Africa as much as Western civilizations, which depressed me. I knew that God loved the world through Jesus Christ, but it seemed as if God did not love Asians and Africans as much as Europeans and Americans. And the school that I went to turned out to be a King James only church, which made the situation even worse. I fell into a deep depression, disappointed at God and the one-sidedness of church history. I felt weak and powerless all the time. The school kicked me out for being depressed. When I got expelled from school, the depression turned into schizophrenic symptoms. I started to hear voices and see spirits. I became a homeless man wandering around in buses, preaching the gospel on the streets. I attempted suicide by cutting my face and arms. I was taken to the hospital where they diagnosed me with schizophrenia. The hospital put me on medications and I went on opiates that made the symptoms a little better but made me a living dead. I was one of those psychotic street bums who wandered the streets aimlessly. But by the grace of God, the symptoms have improved. I studied the Bible in an online seminary which really helped me. I was able to finish a PhD in theology and continue my dream of one day becoming a worthy man of God. Bible study really helped me to cope with my schizophrenia, depression, and addiction. I would like to minister to the unfortunate people in the world and help them through my internet seminary videos. I would like to help people with mental illnesses, learning disabilities, and drug addiction that are living in poverty without hope and tell them that Jesus loves them. I would especially love to help out unfortunate people in Asia and Africa who have not had the gospel for most of their history. But I find it hard to do on my own. I'm on government support and struggling to make ends meet. The little money that I get is spent on purchasing equipment and making videos. I'm living far below the poverty line at the moment. I am surviving in government housing where Muslims bash me daily. Your donations can make a big difference in my life today. I have no other source of income aside from government support and I would like to get off government support. I would love to be able to pay my own bills through God's work. Please donate today. Even a dollar or two will help me now. Other generous amounts will be greatly appreciated. You can do so by clicking the offering button on the top right of the home page. Your donations will contribute towards producing more videos and video translations. I'll be focusing more on mental health help videos, helping mentally ill people with schizophrenia, depression, autism, ADHD, chronic fatigue, learning disabilities, anxiety disorder, and etc. through the Lord Jesus Christ and Bible study. I'm currently partnering with churches in Africa and Southeast Asia to assist mentally ill people in unfortunate situations. Persons with mental illnesses in developing countries are living in severe poverty right now and they need your help today. As Christians have been blessed, I believe that we should share our blessings. We know that God has blessed us. As God has blessed us, we must share our blessings in Jesus Christ. God is pleased with your offerings and He promised to reward your givings with eternal rewards in heaven. Your offerings and donations today will return to you in honor, glory, and eternal blessings through our Lord Jesus Christ. 
2 Corinthians 9, 6-7 Remember this, whoever sows sparingly will also reap sparingly, and whoever sows generously will also reap generously. Each of you should give what you have decided in your heart to give, not reluctantly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Please donate today to help mentally ill people through Jesus Christ. You can donate on internationalinternetseminary.com offerings page where you can donate through PayPal or you can donate reoccurring donations through Patreon. We thank you in advance and may the Lord bless you.